one night, a beautiful little girl called Rachel was kept awake by the light of the moon. What would it be like to walk on the moon, she wondered. What would it be like to dance on the moon, to play football on the moon? I know, she suddenly thought. I'll make a spaceship fly to the moon. So she ran down to the garden and built a spaceship out of a broom, a spade, some crayons, string and glue. And for the engine she used an Orma. What a clever girl I am. I'll make a goldfish bowl a helmet so I'll have some air. Then Rachel began her countdown to lift off. Five, four, three, two, one, lift off! Wow, wee! I hope we don't get lost on the way, Moon Bear, cried Rachel. Bigger. Coming in for touchdown. Look, there's someone here. Hello, Rachel. I'm Neil Armstrong. I've been waiting for you since July 1969. 1969? That's a long time ago. I wasn't even born then. Have some of my milkshake, Rachel. And let me tell you about our solar system and our planets. And Neil told Rachel that there were nine planets circling the star, our sun, called Mercury, Venus, our beautiful Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, and a satellite called Voyager sent out from Earth to look at the planets. Why don't you go and look at the planets, asked Neil, and fly to the satellite. Can I? Of course you can. And don't forget to let yourself go.
touching me. I'm getting hotter and hotter, hotter and hotter, hotter and hotter, hotter and hotter. Rachel rushed to tell her mummy about her adventures. Mummy, mummy, I went to the moon and Pluto, and I met Neil Armstrong, and I saw the planets and a satellite called Voyager. You daft bat, you were dreaming. Off to school with you. As Rachel went to school, she wasn't happy that mummy hadn't believed her. Had she been dreaming after all? The funny thing was, when Rachel's mother went to mow the lawn, the engine was missing. Perhaps Rachel hadn't been dreaming after all. Let's go!